And we are back with a video I wasn't going to make uh, before the start of this tournament, but YouTube decided to ruin the end of my prediction series. So I'm going to make a Women's World Cup wrap-up video for you now. Basically, those of you in the comments on my Premier League predictions video asking where was my prediction for the third, fourth playoff and where was my prediction for the Women's World Cup final... Basically, I posted them and about two minutes after they were posted, YouTube took them down. And I don't quite know why. If you go on my channel, they're just not there at all. They're not even in my saved videos section. But I promise you I did make them. And to the two or three people that did watch them the moment they were released, thank you for hitting that bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos when they go live. So a reminder to you guys, if you haven't rung that bell, for whatever reason, YouTube might just take the videos down. And if you look over here... Uh, here are my current things that I'm building up. You can see a couple of my shorts that have been going up on TikTok and on my gaming channel. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and subscribe to my gaming channel. But basically, here is my final prediction video. Uh, if you go to properties, you will see that it was recorded on the 20th of August at 6.58 in the morning. So the morning of the Women's World Cup final. Basically, I was out all day Saturday and all day Sunday. So I made the videos first thing in the morning posted them to the channel to be released at nine o'clock at the usual time and then because I was away for the rest of the day I had no way of monitoring them or reposting them once they'd been some for some reason taken down but the videos did go out and like I say thank you to those people that did watch them before they were just mysteriously taken down for what it's worth I predicted Australia and England to both win and Sweden and Spain both won so it's not like the predictions were actually worth anything but given the fact that we've had a lot of views on this series over the past few weeks it's really disappointing that for the community I've built on this channel we missed out on quite literally the most important video of the series which is of course the prediction for the final so I'm making this video today just to sort of address that and that I did make this video and for some reason it was taken down and I'm hoping that if you're watching this this video obviously hasn't been taken down but it gives me a chance to sort of wrap up the tournament as a whole and I thought it really was another fantastic tournament and yet another great advert for women's football it's just a shame as an England fan that we failed to get it over the line once again when it comes to the World Cup we obviously did win the Euros last year but sadly it was one step too far this year to win the Women's World Cup and to be fair I thought Spain were the better team I was able to watch the majority of the game on my day out, I was at a wedding. I was being very naughty watching it at a wedding. But it was the Women's World Cup final. I wasn't going to miss it because England were in it. And from what I saw, I just think we really played into Spain's hands. I thought the midfield was poor. I was so, so full of praise for Stanway and Walsh during the Women's Euros last year. But I just think all tournament, Walsh and Stanway haven't quite been at the level that they showed last summer. In particularly, Kira Walsh and... I don't want to put any blame particularly on her because she did suffer that leg, potentially knee injury at the start of the tournament. And realistically, should she have really been playing the rest of the tournament? As a Manchester United fan, I would love to have seen Katie Zellum get more minutes, but it's just the way it is. And I think given how well we played in that 3-5-2 system, once we adjusted to it in that third game against China, it looked like we were going to run that system all the way through till the end. But Spain just had the perfect way of countering it. I and mean, they just had so many bodies in that midfield it just wasn't really possible for us to get control of the game like we'd shown in other games throughout this tournament and in the end sadly it was Spain that got the win but it's still progress obviously the men's failed against France last well at Christmas and now the women have fallen short in the World Cup final itself but more progress for the England football teams hopefully there is more to come. Hopefully Serena Wiegmann stays as the women's manager. I've seen a lot of potential interest, potentially from the men's side. They've been talking about Serena Wiegmann potentially joining the men's England national team in some capacity, either as a coach or potentially taking over from Gareth Southgate. I'm not sure how I would feel about that. She's done a fantastic job. Obviously, I'm very much Southgate out at the moment. That would certainly be an interesting one. And I've seen a lot of potential interest from the USA women's team to take Serena Wiegmann away from England. But I hope they don't do that because... She is definitely building something with this England team and I hope that we can challenge again in four years' time because we have a very talented young squad. And like I said, same applies to the men's team as well. We've just won the under-21s men's championship, so that sees us in good stead going forward as well. And it's just, we just got to hope and pray that in obviously three years' time for the men, four years' time for the women, we just break that duck and bring that second World Cup home because... We really are on an upward trend and I'm hoping that it's going to come very, very soon. But that'll be it for this Women's 
World Cup series. Like I said, I think it's been a fantastic tournament, full of shocks and upsets throughout. Colombia beating Germany, Japan beating the eventual winners, Spain 4-0 in the group. Sweden knocking out the two-time defending champions in America. And like I say, all the way through to that final. Because I still think on paper England were the favourites going into the final. But it was one final upset as Spain got the job done. And I have to say, a special mention to Olga, the World Cup winning goal scorer. She scored in the semi-final and in the final. But sadly, her father passed away just literally minutes before that World Cup final missed, um, kicked off. So he wasn't able to see her, his daughter get that winning goal in that World Cup final, which is a real shame for their whole family. And my hopes and prayers go to their family on what potentially ruins arguably the best day in that young woman's life. But that is the end, like I say, of this tournament. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the, tour um, down in the comment section. Who was your player of the tournament? Who was your team of the tournament as well? Thank you very much for watching this series and thank you very much for all the support you've already given the return of the Premier League series. We've had a thousand views on the first two Premier League prediction videos. And of course, they will be continuing throughout the course of the Premier League season. So thank you very much for all of your support as always. I'll see you again very, very soon.